and welcome to my channel. My name is Laura and in today's video I am going to be adding compost to my green stocks. I've had these green stocks for several years now and I'm going to show you what happens over time and the reason why I'm going to be doing what I'm doing today. So inside the green stocks when you fill them you're supposed to fill them up to the top and then as you notice over time it settles. So I have three different green stocks. And if you're not familiar with what green stocks are, I have at least one, maybe a couple of videos on it. I have my strawberries planted in these two. And this one is just a miscellaneous one that I will plant other uh, vegetables or herbs in for especially this year. Even in my strawberry green stock, you can see how low the soil got. So I have to replenish all that. I will show you my process. Oh my goodness, we got flowers blooming in here. I haven't really been, new flowers. I haven't really been paying attention to what's been going on out here. I've stored these three green stalks and they have wheels so it's easy to move in my garage over the winter time. Oh, we got a bird back there. I hope they're not making a nest in here. So I will be, I will be cleaning out these green stalks and replenishing it with soil. Uh, if you would like to see my previous videos on the unboxing and how you piece it together, I can go ahead and link that video below. So I'm going to just do a time lapse so you can see how I do this. These green stalks, like I said, you can go back and look at the other video on how to actually piece it together and the trays that are involved on each level and how they stack. Today's video, I'm gonna focus on the actually adding more compost to my already existing soil. Oh, and as a disclaimer, I don't know if this is 100% what they recommend. This is just what I'm doing and how I'm doing this for this year with my green stocks. So what I am doing right now is I'm getting the green stalks set up to the side and I am removing the compost that's in the wheelbarrow to make room because what I will be doing is I will be taking the old soil that is currently in the green stalks and mixing it with the compost in the wheelbarrow. Now I'm just mixing it up to try to get it as loose as possible and I'm getting ready to amend the soil with, that's berry tone in the pink bag, and I have some worm castings and some bone meal and some Epsom salt. After I have it nice and loose, I start filling the tiers, and what I'm doing is collecting the strawberry plants that are viable, clearly viable because they are green, and I'm just getting those planted up and I continue to do this with each layer. to make sure that you have the healthiest strawberry plants on the top tier because if you don't already know strawberry plants put out a lot of runners so as it grows the runners will grow down and if you have the healthiest plants up top then the runners will grow down and it'll be very easy to stick them in each of the pockets for them to continue to grow. Now you see me stacking them and if you see that green piece in the center those are the trays that are in between the layers um, they are essentially like a red water reservoir on each layer well here you see me I realize I forgot the trays in between so you see me taking it apart and then piecing it back together again now I'm just giving it a quick water all around the outside and at the top 
where the water reservoir is. So I just finished up this first one. I'm gonna continue doing that with the second one with strawberries. The third one, I'm just gonna amend the soil because I'm gonna be planting like maybe lettuces or herbs. I'm not exactly sure what all, but I'm gonna be planting some other stuff in this last one right here. But this one, I'm gonna continue breaking them down just like I did with this one. And this is gonna be another strawberry tower. If you notice during the time lapse, what I was doing is I was breaking out each one of these levels or layers. And if the strawberry plants in there appeared to have roots, I went ahead and saved those and planted them back. If you're not familiar with green stocks, green stocks are a type of vertical planter that only takes up about one square foot. So if you are having issues and you have um, you don't have a lot of land, like maybe you would just have a small patio or back deck or something like that. Or in my case, even though I have land, I still like to have something that is up close to the house uh, on the back side here. Um, I do keep the green stalks back here because it is short distance to my kitchen. And the beautiful thing about green stalks and why I love them so much is not only space savings, but they have this water reservoir up here. So you fill this up. And if you noticed each of the trays that I added to each level, the water gets filled here. It drips down into each tray on each level and waters each of those pockets. In my previous video, I show you how you actually piece it together and in order to get the best and uh, most efficient watering throughout. And then at the bottom, it will end up draining I went ahead and got the caster and I made sure I put the drain hose attached that to it so I can kind of direct the water out. But anyways, let me go ahead and finish up on these green stalks here and I'll be right back. Real quick, this was on the second tier of this other green stalk, strawberry green stalk. And a couple years ago, there was a bird that made a nest in this level I think a bird had gotten in my garage and got stuck and um, anyways it overwintered obviously the eggs did not hatch looks like there is a broken egg in there sorry that the eggs didn't hatch but um, so what I'm gonna do a lot of these look dead I'm just gonna snap off all the brown hardened runners and I'm gonna dig down in there I already dug one up if it appeared to have had some roots I'm gonna keep them because it might be viable and I'm gonna go ahead and transplant it even though it doesn't really look like there's green popping out of there, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a chance. So I'm gonna continue doing that with these and um, hopefully they will all come back, but time will tell and we shall see. But I do know that all of these obviously are going to make it some of them already have flowers growing on them. So I know those are gonna be strawberries. Anyways, let me go ahead and get to it and I'll be right back. So I finally got all three of these done. Super happy I got it done. That probably took, I'm just estimating, maybe a couple hours. I did sit down for a break in between there, but this is something that is necessary to do if you have one of these green stalks, probably I don't know, maybe every other year, you might be able to push it to every third year. I think this is the, my third year and I'm just now doing it. Just a tip, if you're going to be using a green stock to grow your strawberries, my tip is put the healthiest plants up around the top because as the strawberries grow, all of the runners will grow down and then you can just kind of pop them in the little cells as they grow down and it will fill out it will look like you know in, in previous years i've had them completely full and they grow it almost looks like a waterfall of all this beautiful green and these are the strawberries that are ever bearing that i'm growing i've been trying to find the june uh, bearing generally grow and fruit all in and around june time but it's all at once and those are usually bigger strawberries 
These are the Everbearing, so they're smaller strawberries. And honestly, I usually come out here whenever I'm taking my walks around to like check on the chickens or my other gardens. And I'll just come out here and I'll just snack on them. I haven't even really harvested them for anything inside. I literally just have a living fruit, kind of like a grazing table, if you will. I just come out here and snack as the strawberries are producing and they are so yummy, but they are smaller. Um, I can show you as they grow and fruit. So be sure you subscribe if you would like to see any follow-up videos with any of my gardening. I think my next project is, I am going to be cleaning these out and this is all basil. I'm just going to throw these seeds back into the soil so I can get my basil growing. I love the green stalks. I definitely recommend them. And I hope you enjoyed this video and gained some value from it. And that's a wrap. Until next time, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.